You guys know I love me some kitchen gadgets and I love testing them out for you guys so I can tell you what I recommend and what I don't. So today I'm sharing nine gadgets that you need for your kitchen right now. Let's go. Okay, so are you guys ever in the kitchen and your Apple Watch starts to die? I know it happens to me all the time. I found this gadget and it is basically a very small and compact Apple Watch charger. I love this thing. It is so small and cute and basically you can plug it into any USB port. It has the magnet on it so your Apple Watch sticks to it very easily. I know it's probably kind of a stretch to call this a kitchen item, but this is actually one thing that I am going to keep in the kitchen just for that reason exactly when I'm down there and my watch starts to die. So you can see you can plug it into any USB and your watch clips directly on it. I also think this is a great item to have in your travel bag. I'm probably going to order another one to keep in there just because it's so small and compact and the great thing is that it also will plug into the USB port on your computer too. So it's super easy to take it with you and as long as you have a USB port or a computer you can charge your watch which is fantastic okay so next up are some bag clips from my favorite kitchen brand well one of my favorite kitchen brands <laughs> oxo you guys know i love their salad spinner and i saw these on amazon and thought that i would order them and try them out so they are the good grips i think they call them like cinch clips or something like that essentially what these are is a replacement for the twisty ties that we all love to hate so much that come uh, on you know bread and rolls uh, bags and things like that. What I really like about these is that they are super ergonomic. So if you have issues, um, you know, kind of handling tiny things or issues with your dexterity in twisty ties, these would definitely work great. I also think they would be great for kids. Um, I know my kids in the past have had problems closing the bread bags <laughs> with the uh, twisty ties. So I think those work great for that too. They're super small and compact. They are just colorful plastic. So they wipe off super easily easily and they are big enough that you really won't lose them in your drawer or anything like that. I tested them out on a couple different bags. They worked really great on the bread bag and then I also tried them on um, more of like a chocolate chip bag. This was a um, leftover bag of sort of like Easter chips that I had and I tried them out there as well and I would highly recommend them. I think they are super convenient and will uh, definitely be handy in the kitchen for closing all kinds of bags. Okay so so next up is this over the sink stainless steel drying rack and I can't remember where I saw this. I feel like I saw it on TikTok maybe or Instagram reels. By the way, I've been posting a lot more reels over on Instagram. So if you guys want to go follow me over there, my name is just Jen Chapin. Make sure you do that because I'm trying to post lots of content that I hope you guys <laughs> find helpful and or interesting. Uh, but I saw this and I thought, you know, this would be something cool to try out for my sink. So you can see here, basically it's stainless steel um, sort of bars and then on the end is silicone that holds it in place and they have several different sizes that you can order so you definitely want to measure your sink and then try to um, get one that fits but you can see here this one fits perfectly across my sink now I have a large basin sink so I think this is particularly helpful that means that I can have extra drying space I have a space on my counter where I dry dishes already but I think it's helpful to have this extra space especially if you're running short on counter space and you just wanna dry things uh, over this. So I did test this out, washed a couple different dishes and glasses, and I really like how it works. I would recommend it. I also love that it rolls up very compact. So it does um, fit in the drawer right next to my sink if you are worried about space saving. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend this tool. I think it is great. And like I said, sort of expands the drying space that you have in your kitchen after you do dishes. All right, we are going to take a quick break and thank today's video sponsor, Love Tala. If you guys are not familiar with them, they are a one-of-a-kind fingerprint jewelry company to help you cherish and celebrate your most loved people. And guess what? Mother's Day is coming up. So if you need a gift, I've got your back. They have timeless necklace designs to choose from. So you can choose the necklace design that you love and then send them the fingerprints of the people you want to keep close to your heart. And they create a memorable piece of jewelry for you 
you. Love Tala creates high quality pieces. Their necklaces are made with sterling silver and come in the colors of yellow gold and rose gold. The Love Tala fingerprint pendant is a no brainer Mother's Day gift. What's great about the gift box concept is that you don't have to guess at the style and color of the necklace that the special mom in your life would like. You can give her a gift card in this beautiful gift box and allow her to choose the necklace that she loves most. The process is so easy. All you need to do is take a picture of the print with your phone and then upload it to the link they send after purchase. The simple process is outlined on their website and in the upload link they send you after purchase. They provide keepsakes for all types of moms. New moms can have their little baby's footprint that they received from the hospital put on their necklaces. Dog moms can have their puppy's paw prints or nose prints put on their necklaces. And some moms may even want to do a combination of cute little feet or sweet little paws. There are necklaces in the collection like this one that have been designed to hold multiple prints. I personally did both of my kids fingerprints and I love this necklace. It is just so sweet and I always get so many questions and compliments about it. So while it's too late to create a necklace and receive it by Mother's Day, gift boxes that let her choose exactly what she wants are guaranteed to arrive in time if you order by May 3rd. So you still got time. You can go to lovetala.com or click the link below and use my code Jen at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. Once again, the link is lovetala.com. Use my code Jen at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. I highly recommend you guys get this for a special mom in your life for a Mother's Day gift. It's simple, it's thoughtful, it's a no-brainer. Once again, use my code Jen at checkout to get 10% off your Love Tala purchase. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, so this is another like TikTok and or Reels find. Uh, maybe my favorite gadget out of this whole video, um, probably, let's see. <laughs> So this is an oil dispenser and it comes uh, basically in a small box. I ordered this on Amazon, by the way, I'll link all of these items down below, but essentially you can fill this with your oil of choice. I chose avocado oil because it cooks at a higher temperature than olive oil does. And then you pour it into the glass jar part. It has um, sort of like a cap with uh, a little tube that goes down into the oil. So you screw that in and then it has a little bulb on the top and you can see that when you squeeze it it bubbles down into the oil and sucks up um, I think this sucks up just exactly half a tablespoon of oil I think if especially if you do a lot of cooking I am planning on keeping this like right next to my stove so that I can quickly oil pans as I am cooking things um, but especially if you are looking to make sure that you're like reducing your oil usage or you only want to make sure that you use you know half a tablespoon in your cooking this is a great idea because it will automatically measure it out for you. You can squeeze it into the pan and then you basically just use the brush to brush it around the pan. And I don't know, it's just really cool. And it's one of those gadgets that I was like kind of skeptical of. And then once I ordered it and tried it out, I was like, wow, this really works. So you can see there, I used it here to oil uh, one of my nonstick skillets and I'm gonna crack an egg in there just to show you kind of how well this works to oil the surface. Um, the reason I like it is just because as as you're, you know, if you're just using a bottle to kind of pour oil into the pan, you really can't brush it and get it all over the surface of the pan. So highly recommend this. It's pretty inexpensive and I think it is super useful. Okay, so the next product we are going to review is this over the sink strainer. And again, I think this is something that is really useful. It is white in color and it can go into the dishwasher, which is another bonus and it slides to fit a variety size or a variety of different sizes of sinks. You can see here that I slid it open and put it into my sink and I'm just gonna use this to wash some strawberries, although you could use this for anything. You could use it to wash other types of produce. You could use it to wash greens. You could also use it to strain pasta, like if you were you know, cooking a big batch of pasta. And the other reason why I really like this is because once again, it does slide open and close. So since it does slide um, closed, it does end up up taking up less space in your cabinet, which is awesome. I know everyone doesn't have a lot of kitchen and counter space. I've been there before. Um, and so I always find this really convenient to store. And like I said, it goes into the dishwasher, which is like an extra bonus <laughs> to me. So highly recommend this. Um, I think that it's just something fun to use to wash your produce with, but it does have a variety of different uses. 
is. Okay, so this next item is a pop-up drying rack. And this is something that I thought would be really useful for me because I actually really don't have a dedicated dish drying rack. I kind of just use this space to the left of my sink and I throw a mat or a tea towel down and then I put my dishes there. But you can see this is a really compact piece. It basically folds out and then it has a spot to stand up your dishes as you wash them. So I'm kind of showing you here how this looks with some cookie sheets, which is probably what I'll end up using it most for. And I found that this worked really great. I also think it would be great to um, wash plates or basically anything that's kind of long and oblong. If you don't have a proper dish rack like I do, highly recommend this. It works really well and it's small and compact. Okay, next up are these LED push lights. These are so freaking cool and I highly recommend them. So they come in a five pack. You can get either the sort of cool light or the warm light. Cool light is going to have more of like that blue hue while the warm light is going to be more of a yellow light. Um, but you can see here that they come individually wrapped. You just take them out of the package and each one takes three AAA batteries. So the great part about these is that you can really stick them anywhere. You don't have to do any wiring or electrical work, which is good because I have literally no idea <laughs> how to do that. And you can see here that basically you just screw the back off and you pop your batteries in there and it does include a self adhesive patch on the back um, so that you can easily stick it to wherever you want it. And I think that these have such a variety of uses. I think that they could be used in closets. Um, I know I've lived in houses before that have not had lights in the closet and it's <laughs> super annoying, but I'm going to show you guys here how I put them under my cabinets. That's one thing that I wish kind of wish we would have done when we built our house was to have under cabinet lighting installed. Um, and so these are a really easy solution to that, right? So you can see here that basically I just stick it on, turn it on and boom, we got light. It looks really cool. And uh, I, I think the other great thing about these is that it's super easy to change the batteries um, when you need to. Once you get them stuck up there, all you have to do is twist them off and you can replace the batteries. Um, but you can see here kind of how easily they turn on. And I think it just sort of adds some light and some ambiance to any sort of place in your kitchen. I also wanted to show you guys how I use them on my coffee bar here. So I installed two in the lower shelves and then I actually thought it would be um, neat to add some to the top um, shelves too because I thought it would look great behind the glass and I really do love how they look. I always turn them on at night. They look super awesome. So highly recommend these. They're just an inexpensive way to add some uh, decoration and ambiance to your kitchen. Okay, so next up is this package of storage bag holders. You're like, what? Okay, so I have seen a variety of these um, in different videos and on Amazon and things like that. And I have always wanted to get some and I finally pulled the trigger. So what this is, is it's basically a package of organizers for freezer or storage bags. So this particular set comes with four compartments. It comes with one sort of like freezer bag compartment. And then the other ones are smaller for snack size, quart size, and sandwich size bags. My drawer that I store like all of my saran wrap and foil and sandwich bags in is always a hot mess as you can see here. Uh, basically I'm just kind of storing my bags in some of these open bins right now and it doesn't always work the greatest. Sometimes they get caught on the edge and they fall out and you can't close the drawer and I don't know it's just annoying overall so I thought I would take everything out and then I'm just going to use some multi-surface spray to clean the bottom of the drawer out. These particular um, bag holders do come with adhesive or sort of like command strips. So you just want to make sure that your surface is clean and dry before you install them. Okay. So once the drawer was clean, I kind of laid all of the containers out in there just to see how I wanted them configured before I adhered them down. And I just added the foam adhesive to the back of the containers and peeled it off. These are basically just command strips. So if you want to move them around, you can definitely just, you know, peel them back off by more command strips and you're good to go. So I'm just pushing this down into the drawer.
drawer and then I will go ahead and make sure that it's secure. I added my bags and then added the lid to these. These have a lid with a hole in the top that allows you to just pull however many bags you need out of the dispenser, which I think works really great. And then I love that it also comes with these clear labels so you can add those to the tops of the containers as well. And it is easy for you to see which bag you are grabbing. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete uh, the process with my other three containers and get those stuffed as well. Okay, so once those are filled up, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lids on those. One reason I also like this particular style is that they are white plastic, and so they're super easy to take out of the drawers and wash if you need to do that. Some of the other ones I saw were like wood, and I don't think they would wipe down very well. So here is the completed drawer and how that turned out. I love this. It's just the little things that make us so happy, right? So you can see here that I have my quart bags, gallon, sandwich, and snack bags. Highly recommend, I know I said the oil, oil was my favorite the oil dispenser was my favorite but maybe this one is my favorite I'm not sure it's really hard to pick favorites but I highly recommend these okay so next up is this yogurt storage sleeve and you guys maybe saw this on my Instagram if you're following me over there but essentially it is this um kind of plastic rack that you stick into your fridge. I've had it in there for probably a couple weeks now. It's been working really well. Basically, you just install it with the adhesive that they give you. And this particular tool works with any of the standard size sort of Greek yogurt containers. So I'm using Chobani containers here, um, but it works with like Faye or any of like the light and fit ones, basically any standard size yogurt like this. And essentially you can just slide your yogurts on into the holder it does only hold four so i do think that's kind of a limitation um but one thing i really like about it is that it does save a lot of space in your fridge so you're kind of using up some of that wasted space there on the side of the fridge so thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to check out love tala i'll have their link in the description box below you can check out their site use my code jen to get 10 percent off for an awesome mother's day gift thank you guys so much for being here and i'll see you in my next video. Bye.